a beautiful and sort of melancholic morning today. A bittersweet encounter with the ocean here. Today is my last time kayak fishing the California coast for a while. I head back to school in two days and I'm pretty landlocked out there. It's just, it's nothing like this. Pacific Ocean, beaches, reefs, the fog, the sea lions, the fish, the otters, the whales, the dolphins, the crabs, everything from a great white to a sea urchin. I love it all out here and I won't be able to see it for a while so I'm really trying to make the most out of today. I'm just gonna stay out here until my butt feels like it's going flat, until I can't sit in a kayak anymore, until the waves are thrashing me onto shore. Just enjoy my last day out here. That's what today is all about. I'm fishing Monterey and I fished it yesterday. Very, very cool. Hooked up some big fish, some really, really big fish that I wasn't able to see. One pulled the hook, one bit me off, but it was a fantastic day yesterday. And today will be the same. Now my intended fishing grounds are way out there. So it's probably like a 40 minute paddle over. So I decided I'm gonna try something on the way there. There's plenty of fish right around here. Yesterday I hooked up a monster fish right there on a big, big, big live mackerel. So today as I head over to the spot, I'm gonna be trolling this Battlestar jerkbait. This is the Battlestar 115 and it looks really, really nice in the water next to my kayak. Check that out. Yesterday I could only find the bait in shallow by the beach, nothing out deep. So I'm kind of going to slope inward and follow the coast. But troll this nice jerk bait all over that rocky area that I'm gonna pass in order to get to the sandy halibut fishing grounds. So I'm just gonna put this sinker on it right there and we're gonna send it to the bottom. So it's a really simple sliding, you know, let's say like a fish finder Carolina rig. So sliding sinker going to my jerk bait just to figure out how fast I should go. I'm just watching the action of the jerk bait. So this is a good speed. I'm about 2.4 miles an hour. So yeah, it's pretty fast, but I'm just trying to get out there. Any fish we hook right now is going to be a bonus. So let's see. Drop it down 58 feet deep here. There we go. Pop it off the bottom a little bit and we're going. Hopefully we get a fish before starting the day. So now I'm just keeping my eyes peeled, focusing on the fish finder, seeing if there's a nice little school of bait to cast my sabiki into. Should pick up some baits and be in great shape by the time we get over to the fishing grounds. GoPro, start recording. All right, here's a bait ball. Let's see, yeah, they're, they're in shallow. Yesterday they were basically only, you know, within a couple yards from shore. They were only uh, like 35 feet deep and less. There we go. Got some, I think these are gonna be uh, sardines. No, smelt. All right, well. To start nice smelt toss him in the live well he's a little big but he'll do if you don't got any other bait he'll definitely do there we go what are you i think i'll find the sardines oh there look big bait ball under me those could be mackerel there we go Ooh. All right, this is more macro-esque. Oh, it's, it's peeling drag. That's gonna be a mackerel. Oh my, get in. Oh, he's massive. He is massive. All right, well, this thing is just eh, ginormous, but no. No more playing around because he's, he's so big. 
He's one of those baits that's scary big because you put it down there and if it gets hit, it's like, what the heck decided to eat that? So it's fun. So I'm by some kelp right here and I'm seeing some bait fish move around. I think they're sardines. Ooh, yeah, I cast it right into the school. Hopefully I can get one or two. And hopefully I also didn't spook them. Yeah, they're all under here. Look at this, right, right at the surface. Come on, that should get hit. I can feel them. They're tapping the sabiki. Just need him to eat it. There we go. No, got off, okay. Oh, they're right here. Oh, it's some it's smelt. They're, they're little smelt. Yeah, I just saw a little school swim by me, but they don't seem very interested. There's some interesting marks. I should be swimming through them. There we go. Let's just stay on. This feels like the right size bait we're looking for. Oh, and it just got taken by a bigger smelt. Dang it. Ah, oh, that's way too big. Monster smelt. I'd rather use a monster, monster mackerel than a monster smelt. Yep. All right, well, keep looking around. Just cast it into a school of bait fish here. Got some. All right, yeah, that's a better size smelt for bait. Perfect. Oh wow, dolphins. Dolphins right on the beach. Literally a couple of yards from shore. Wow. Doesn't look like the sardines are in. Yesterday they just came in later. So maybe, hopefully they pop out. But uh, I'm just gonna throw down this whole live smelt. Maybe we'll try that big mackerel later. So as you can see, my smelt is nice and lively. And it's a good, it's a really good bait out here as well. My favorite three bait fish out here are the mackerel, sardine, and smelt. That combo, bound to catch a fish. So dropping it to the bottom, 38 feet deep, reeling it up a couple of times. Look, something just popped up off the bottom the second I dropped my smelt down and it's checking them out. Let's see if we get hit. He's on him. A lot of times these fish just check out the bait, but don't touch it. I'm just gonna put the rod down so I don't get too excited. Staying a little shallow, just because I think if the bait does show up, they're gonna show up in the shallow area where I saw them yesterday. And we're fishing. So as always, it is now swim bait time. Love this thing. This is gonna catch us a fish. Most of my halibut this year have come on the swim bait including some of the bigger fish I've caught. So let's see if we can get it done early. Just cast that in front of me, let it hit the bottom, and now just pop it up off the bottom using a series of quick reels. And now feeling my line hit the bottom once more before I give it a couple more pops. And that's just making it lift and bounce on its way back to my kayak and then I should just feel a, a thump and I'll set the hook and it'll be a fish. That's the idea anyways. Ooh, nice, fish on on the swim bait. Ah, this is decent. This is decent. Nice. 
Man, what a thump that was. It was bouncing on the bottom and I felt it get inhaled. Right, let me see you. Oh, it's definitely got some weight to it. I think it's gonna be a nice halibut. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a halibut. It's a nice one. Look at that. On the swim bait, baby. There we go, easy unhooking. One of the things I love about the swim bait. All right, I'm gonna release this guy, but I wanna measure him really quickly before we get him Whew, on his way. All right. Well, I don't know. I did not get a good measurement. <laughs> but, that was a good fish. That was a definitely a good fish. That's the thing, halibut, you know, if you catch them and release them, they don't really expend much energy on the fight. So when you get them up, they're really, really, really fresh uh, as opposed to other fish that run a lot. So you gotta be careful. And I mean, if he flops like that, he's probably gonna escape. So totally fine if you're releasing him, but if you're not, probably put the stringer on before you do any of that stuff because they're just impossible to haul down to when they're in that mood but ah oh, nice we got a halibut that could be my last halibut of this year hopefully not but it had to be on the swim bait didn't it oh yeah we're on we're on the smelt here are we something's taking the smelt as i'm changing this battery here oh yeah I can see it on the fish finder. Definitely got bit. Raw tip just went down and look, this thing on the fish finder came up, grabbed it, and now it's, I don't know, making up his mind, I guess. But that was definitely, definitely a hit. When I pull that smelt up, it's gonna have some marks on it for sure. Looks like it just didn't stick. And I don't think he's on there anymore. No, but we did get hit, all right. Oh, it's coming back up. I went up and down. Look, it's, it's this one. This guy came up and checked him out and went back down. They do that a lot. All right, well, it was good to see the live bait getting harassed a little bit. I'm gonna keep throwing the swim bait, see if I can pick that up. Look, it's going for it again. Something seriously, seriously considering eating my smelt here let's pull this smelt up it's gonna have bite marks on it definitely there you go there's your bite mark but he's pretty lively it's good to check because you know i don't want to have a dead smelt down there i want to have a nice lively live bait and that's what he is so Dropping him back down. Oh, come on. Nice. GoPro, start recording. Fish on. Missed him the first time and he came back for it on the swim bait again. Another decent fish. Definitely got some weight to it. Halibut are like that. If they miss once, you just gotta bounce it a couple more times and they'll come back and slam it. No! No! I lost him. That was definitely a decent fish right there. Just popped the hook. Drag wasn't even that tight. Happens.
All right, well, that's a good sign. Second fish, second hit of the day. Second hooked fish of the day. We've had three bites and it was a pretty decent halibut, it felt like. Definitely in that 30 inch range. Felt stronger than the last one. There we go. I think I found what I'm looking for bait wise. Yeah, I think so. You get a good look. Yes. Sardines. That's the money. Wind is picking up, but I'm in it for the long haul today. Yesterday it also picked up around this hour and uh, it died off eventually. So I think it's gonna get worse and then better. I'm just gonna have to stick through it. Whoa. There's a ton of fish swimming right under me. I can see them with my eyes. Scared me. Marking them as well. I think it's a bunch of big macro. What are those? I don't know. Let's see, swim bait? They're right there. Do you want a swim bait? I think it was a school of big mackerel, but they, they just, they look massive. Like, well, they kind of look like the one I have back there, around that size, which is pretty big. But I could just see them swimming under my kayak. GoPro, start recording. I'm on. There we go. Fish on. Nice. It's a halibut. On the sardine. Look at those head shakes. Hey, Seagull. Seagull's been checking me out there. You think you can take this guy? I don't think so. Oh, but he got the thing that the halibut coughed up. He coughed up a little bait fish. Seagull got him. It's hard with these waves. There we go. Little guy. Send him off. Wow. I love seeing them on the surface. They're so cool. They glide, they're like a frisbee. What the heck was that? I did not see what that was. Something just jumped out there. Hopefully I got it on camera, but I mean, I guess I have to have a cast right there, huh? No idea what that was, but it sounded like a big splash. Let's see. Instant replay. Well, whatever it was does not want a swim bait. Hit it. Nice. Fish on. GoPro, start recording. Ooh. Feels heavy. Ooh. 
loosen the drag a little bit. That's not very halibut-like. On the swim bait. Halibut don't usually run out. Oh boy. Please stay on. I want to see what this is. Oh, it's really heavy. I'm loosening up the drag a little bit. Let him run. It's not going to reef us or anything. Oh boy, my heart is pounding. I hooked some mystery fish yesterday that I wasn't able to see what they were because they got off. Please don't get off. No, oh my God, it scared me. Please, 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 please. Please. Oh. On the swim bait too. I don't think this is gonna be a shark. Please, little voice in the back of my head saying sea bass. Just relax. But that would be a hell of a way to end it. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're gonna jinx it. It's a heavy fish. It's a heavy fish. Oh boy. I should pull my other line up. I took my pedal drive out to avoid uh, the line getting tangled in there. But I should reel my other line up as well. Because that would suck. Oh man, it's strong. It was not fighting that hard at first, but it's definitely woken up. Oh, look at that rod bend. Oh my God, please just let me see it. My God, maybe that big school I saw swim by me wasn't mackerel. <sighs> don't say it, don't even, don't even say the WSB word. <sighs> Man, I, I love this moment and I hate it. <sighs> it's, you got the excitement of hooking a fish and not knowing what it is. You got the stress of knowing that if you don't land it, you're going to cry. And it's gonna give you nightmares. All right. It's hard to gain on him. Look, and I get to witness this with my seagull friend. Please, please, please. Please. I see it. What is that? Oh, it's a ray. Hey, don't go after my bait. Hey, yeah, yeah, you're gonna get hooked, buddy. You're literally gonna get hooked. Oh, it's a ray. Man. You really had me fooled, you son of a gun. Man. Well, at least I was able to see it. If this thing got off, I would have really thought I hooked a sea bass something. I guess I'm just like hallucinating sea bass. I know people have caught him somewhat recently. Anytime I get a hit and it peels drag, I... Hey! Yeah! Well, it's not often you get a ray on the swim bait. Oh, it's snagged. Could have gone for it and missed or I could have just had a super 
lucky or unlucky, depends how you see it, cast that just snagged him in the wing as he was swimming by. There we go, got it. There he goes. Nice, I'm very happy I was able to get that hook out. Look, he swam right back to the bottom. Oh, really got my heart pounding. But yeah, I hate leaving hardware in fish. So I'm very glad I was able to unhook that ray. And man, it got my heart pumping. And look, he actually bent out my swim bait hook. You see that? Dang, and this is a strong hook too. And it looks like my sardine fortunately survived that series of seagull attacks. It's decently lively, we should find another one, but I'll drop this guy down for now. Nice. I'm on a bait ball. Oh my. It's gonna be mackerel. Oh. No, a, a striper sized smelt. Wow. One of the biggest smelt I've seen, I think. This thing is like the size of a striper. You are not gonna be able to eat that, buddy. Ain't no way. The wind has picked back up. Unfortunately, my sardine did not survive this guy's multiple attacks. So, I'm gonna use this sardine just like that. You see I got a front hook at the nose and a treble at the back. And it's, it's bent. I put a little, a little bend in it. And so when I put it in the water and I pedal... Hey, 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 don't even come close. But you can see that it's spinning nicely. Is rolling really nicely as I pedal. This is how we fish for halibut inside the San Francisco Bay using frozen herring. So sardine should totally work. And dropping them down. And we're fighting the wind now. Oh, come on. Yep. Ooh, uh, GoPro, start recording. Oh, saw him on the fish finder and I'm on. Oh my God. Another big fish here. Oh boy. Really big. Loosening the drag a little bit. Didn't take long. Trolling that uh, that uh, bent sardine. We're hooked up. Oh wow. Jeez, what is this? Maybe I should tighten my drag a little bit. I don't want him to take me to the beach. I'm already pretty shallow and the, the waves are getting bigger. But he's really strong. Really, really strong. 130 feet of line out. And I was only at about 30 feet depth. So this fish already took over 100 uh, feet of line. But now I'm getting my line back a little bit at least. Just got 30 feet back. But I really don't want to go to the beach. I'm turning away, using my rudder to my advantage here. Oh my. 
Can you imagine that? I got a live sardine down there all day, untouched. The second it dies and I throw it down there dead, I get hit by this thing. Good amount of weeds in between us. That's gonna be interesting. I can already see them on the line. And this guy just took another 50 feet of line. Really don't wanna go too close to the beach. I'm gonna chase him down a little bit. So I'm paddling, pedaling toward him and I'm just gonna reel in the slack so that I'm fighting right on top of him. But it's really important to reel when you do this because you don't want to let that line slacken up. All right, I gained about 70 feet of line here. More, I just gained about 100 feet of line. But I'm getting pretty shallow. It's 20 feet deep here. The good thing is there's no waves breaking anywhere other than right at the shore. So should be fine. Just keep kind of steering them away from the beach a little bit. 30 feet away. Come on. Let me see you. 27 feet. Ah! Fighting these waves. It's heavy. There it is. What is that? No, it's another ray. 90% sure it's another ray. I just saw a dark back. And a sort of, it's like a gray halibut shape. That's not a halibut though. I'm pretty sure we got another ray on. shallow here. I need to go. All right. Oh boy, big waves. Big waves. I need to get out of here. Yeah, I see the ray. Hey, take me. Let's go. Let's do this over there. All right, I'm just going to let it run. I just I can't go too close to shore. I'm not going to put myself in danger here. Just maintaining pressure and pedaling away from the beach. It makes sense that uh, once that sardine was dead and rolling around there that the ray grabbed it. You know, if you use live bait, you're much less likely to catch sharks and rays. But once that bait is dead, these fish love to scavenge all that dead stuff so didn't take long for this ray to go after the dead sardine that actually answers some questions for me possibly you know yesterday i was feeling very frustrated because i lost a big fish in the morning and when the hook pulled no but that one was scratched up they these rays don't scratch baits up yeah who knows i'm still frustrated then boy what a strong fish. What a strong fish. Ah. Man! Ah, this is epic! Ah. Wind in my face. Wind and current are pushing me in the opposite direction from where I want to go. This ray is pushing me toward the beach where the waves are crashing. I'm fighting the waves, the current, and the ray. Ah! I love fishing, man. Just being out here. Ah! So this is special. This is special. What a send off. Ah, why am I turned back toward the shore? How? All right, you gonna play these games, Ray? Raymond, come here, Raymond. Ah, uh, it 
it's a Raymond. It's a Raymond. All right, getting close. Oh, I'm getting close to being exhausted. Both of us, I think. Oh, that's a big ray. I'm gonna start by taking all of these off. I just want to see if these hooks are... Oh, I think... Yes, it's a single hook. Alright, he was hooked in the mouth, but then it slipped and hooked his wing, but it's just the single hook. I just felt it slip. Okay, okay, I can, I can get this, I can get this. Good. Just focus up. Oh, I need to grab that leader. Get my pliers ready. Come here, Raymond. Oh, I can totally get that. Come on. Careful with that barb. I've been stung by one of these guys before. Not fun. There, got it. See ya. Nice. Woo. Unhooked. Let's go. And look, it's swimming to the bottom. There it is. Awesome! What a fight! <laughs> wow! Alright, sorry about the audio. I imagine this is not gonna sound very nice, but it's very windy out here. Got a big smelt. Big, live, and lively smelt. Seagull! Stop it! Go home! Dropping it down. And I just have to basically pedal back to my launch site. It's probably gonna take me a couple of hours in this wind. All right, but we're fishing on the way. Big live bait, let's see what happens. I'm headed in, and this wind is gonna take me a while. And while I still got some camera battery left, I wanna take a second and thank all of you for tagging along with me with this summer's fishing adventures. I had a blast, I love this place. I'm getting to know it more and more with, with every single time I come out here. And man, and I'm getting blasted by the wind, the waves and the current right now. You gotta big smile i can't wipe off my face just super thankful to be able to come out here and experience this i got to fish like a madman i got to sell my first ever merchandise i got to meet a lot of people fantastic time so thank you very much i don't know when the next time i'll be able to fish is but you'll hear about it until next time everyone tight lines But these guys just sure caused me a whole lot more trouble than I was already in. All good? All good. Did you fall out of your kayak by any chance? Sorry? Did you fall out of a kayak? Or no, no, no. Did you need any assistance or anything? No, I'm good. Did someone else fall? All right, I just, we got a call for a kayak in distress, but sometimes people don't know. No, that no, was not me. Oh, did you, you didn't call 911? I did not call 911. Good luck. Thanks guys. Any luck fishing? Yeah. Some halibut. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Well, apparently someone fell out of their kayak and uh, called 911. They're looking for a kayaker out here. But they don't know who. I haven't even seen another kayaker today. Wear a life jacket. Woo!
It is a rough one. Soy todo lo que soy, porque tú eres todo lo que quiero. Oh, fish on. On the live smelt. I'm literally about to go in. Just got something on the smelt. Oh, feels pretty decent. I'm I'm right. I was debating, do I pull my smelt in or no? Just let him hang out. Well, I'm glad I let him hang out. Wow, last fish of the summer for me. Man, let's see. Don't finish it by pulling the hook, please. It's got some weight to it. Halibut. Oh, whoa. That is a big halibut. That is a really nice halibut. Woo. Oh my God, that's huge. That's a really, really big halibut. That might be the biggest halibut I've had ever. That's a huge halibut, guys. Huge halibut. Monster. Monster. Oh my goodness. It's massive. Look at that. Look at the size of that fish. Wow. Oh. Huge head shake. So I actually don't want to keep this guy. I'm gonna release him. He's massive. This is my PB. The biggest one I've had is 37 inches. This guy is significantly bigger, I think. Wow. Let's see how we release this guy. This is gonna be interesting. That is a massive fish. Oh, he's not super hooked. Man, that could be over 40. I feel like I'm gonna lose him, but it's okay because I wanna release him anyways. Got him. Okay. Where are my pliers? Here they are. Please don't shake your head. Oh my God, almost put a treble in me, but not quite. All right, uh, let's see how big this guy is. My measuring board is 36 inches. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a 40 incher. That is absolutely a 40 incher. Well above the measuring board. Look at that. Well over 40. Wow. Look, that's 36 plus like an iPhone. Yeah, that's actually pretty perfect. There he goes. All right. Woo! Oh, baby. Catch and release.
piece, 40 in caliber right there to end the summer. Thank you very much for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I have an amazing time fishing out here. I can't believe that just happened. Literally a couple of y yards off the mouth of the harbor. I'm shaking. What a day I've had. Thank you all very much. I just love being out here with all my heart. Being in nature like this, experiencing all that, getting to release a halibut that size. You know, that thing, you know how many babies that thing has or is going to have? So many. These graphs from two different scientific studies show the relationship between fork length, the distance from the tip of the mouth to the fork of the tail, and batch fecundity measured in thousands and hundreds of thousands of eggs respectively for female California halibut. The graphs illustrate that the bigger the halibut, the more eggs it will release. For example, a female halibut measuring 750 millimeters or 29.5 inches will release approximately 250,000 eggs, while a halibut like the one I just released measuring over 1,050 millimeters or 41.3 inches will release over 1.5 million eggs. This should give you an idea of how beneficial it is to release big fish if we want to keep the ecosystem healthy and our fisheries productive. The bigger the halibut, the more offspring it has. So that's a great, great, great fish to release. And man, no better way to end the summer than by literally releasing a 40 inch halibut. Thank you very much, everyone. By the way, get your halibut shirts, my merch. Gonna put it right up here once more. Thank you. I love you. Until next time, tight lines. <laughs>